So in the Power Apps editor, we're going to build our application, which will be uh, quite simple. Now I will not build it here step by step. Uh, you'll see later near the end of the video uh, what the interface looks like and uh, what the code is uh, behind it. It's so simple that it's really not that useful to show you how to put these controls on the screen. Now what is more interesting is of course the connection to our API and how do we do uh, that, right? I have this uh, empty app here in front of me and I'd like to actually uh, use the, the custom data source, a data source that allows me to call uh, my API. It's not there, we'll have to define it. Um, if you go to uh, connections, you actually open up a browser and in the browser you can then define uh, custom connectors and connections which are based on that custom connector. Now, if you look how a custom connector works, how you create it, there are several ways to do it. Now, you can create it from blank, which actually means you will provide all the information uh, in, in this browser interface here, or you can create it from an open API file or a Postman uh, collection. Now, because we use Goa, uh, we have an open API file. We have a Swagger JSON file, which was defined for us. We can use that and upload this to uh, Power Apps. So let's do that. I'm going to call it currencies. I'm going to upload the open API file, the Swagger JSON file, and then continue. Now you have to provide, of course, some information. The JSON file contains localhost for the host name, which is, of course, not uh, correct. We'll take a look here. We actually need this IP address, and that's the IP address from our Kubernetes service. So we'll define that there. The base URL is indeed a forward slash. It's an open API. We're calling coin market cap anyway, so that is also an open API. And then the definition of the API and all the different actions and so on were of course uh, defined in the Swagger JSON file. Now there are some issues here because the Swagger JSON by Goa is using uh, that, uh, that sign there, which is not allowed just replacing it. I'm putting also for the operation ID in uppercase, the validator actually requires that here. Um, and then if you take a look at the actual definition, you'll see, yeah, indeed the request, we do a get to a URL called slash currencies with a parameter called currency ID, which is defined as well. And then the response can either be okay or not found. And the validation was successful, which is great. So let's now create the connector called currencies, because we then uh, would like to uh, test this. Now, I actually, in my trials, of course, or in my practice before we're doing the video, already created a currencies uh, connector, which I already deleted as well, but for some reason, he still remembers this. So let's close this, and I'm calling this uh, currencies2 for now. Later in the video, you'll see that we'll using, we will be using the currencies uh, connector, not the currencies to connector. So don't worry about this. I create the connector called currencies uh, two. He's doing that. And when the connector is created, we would like to test it in this interface. There's a test option here. Now the test needs a connection. A connection based on this connector. So I'm going to create the connection. The connection is then also called currencies2, which, which is fine. I'm creating it. He's adding the connection to the connections list that you'll see here. If you go then back to custom uh, connectors, there you'll see currencies2. If I edit the connector and go back to the test operation, you can actually try and see if it works. So I'm giving NEO as a currency ID. I'm testing the operation. And if you see this, well, it might be that you're just not patient enough, right? Uh, so in my experience, you have to give the system some time. Uh, they're using API management in the back end. Maybe they have to provision all kinds of stuff to do the actual testing. Uh, so that's why I'm leaving it uh, as it is uh, for now. And then we'll come back uh, later to this um, to this uh, connector to test it. 